Hey guys and welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing a thrifting come with me vlog style thing and I'll hopefully do be doing a thrift haul at the end of it. By the time I get home the light may be naff outside so I might have to do it tomorrow um, when I film it or the day after but it, whenever this comes out it'll be one cohesive thing anyway. Um, so today I'm going to four maybe three different places to go thrifting and we're going to see how it goes. The weather's going to be miserable outside, so I'm sorry if the audio quality's naff or whatever. Hopefully the come fifth me part won't be the entire extent of it, it'll be like a short part of it. So we'll see and um, let's get into it, shall we? I changed my hat fearing for like the weather and stuff. Turns out the wind is fine, so I put a spiky wig on. Um, the wind isn't that bad because I thought the wind would like blow off, but there's no rain, it just looks really miserable. So... I don't know, first stop is my own town and then going out on the bus to a few more, so let's go. And I'm still in Luton, but I have this much stuff. Loud help me. I'm off the bus and I'm in the next town over. Um, I'm gonna help with some of the chair shops they have. So I haven't actually had much luck um, here yet, so I'm hoping the next um, location will be a bit better than this one. Um, I'm going to go to the chair shops here and then go home. Well that was um, overpriced and didn't have much stuff. So I think there's a few more here, I just don't know where they are. So we'll find them. Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, it's now 5 in the evening and I've had a hat change, I've taken off my lipstick because it's getting really irritating and I have quite dry lips so that's why I might look a little bit strange and I'm just kind of all over tired and dishevelled because it's been like five solid hours 
of traveling places and thrifting. I don't actually have any order to any of this down here, but what I'm going to try and do is edit it in such a way that we have non-thrifted stuff and thrifted stuff, depending on what it is. Um, that might not work out how I want it to, but I'm going to try and do it that way to try and get some sort of cohesiveness going to this. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, we'll start with makeup that is obviously not thrifted. Um, I only use some makeup brushes and I really like my other ones that have a similar design to these. But these ones are clear, sparkly ones. Um, and they have a very similar top to them. And I think I got these for like a fiver on eBay and it's like 10 different things here with big fluffy brushes and they're really really soft and really nice quality as well. So I'm not too disappointed about these. Um, only thing is, is that some of the brushes are a little bit thinner than I expected. Um, but that happens when you buy stuff online, you don't always know what you're going to get. But overall they work really really well and I use them in my makeup. Next up we have some more makeup. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil by B H Cosmetics palette. And it is a really really bright really really bright palette. I was gonna get the James Charles one but on further inspection there really isn't that many bright shades in there that I personally would use. I like really bright eyeshadow. Um, so I still want to buy that one and I've also purchased the Beauty Bay one which is on its way as well as another one that I'll show you in a minute just to compare. I also got a new black lipstick. I got the Lime Crime Valentine's I think it is lipstick. It's not actually in here it's somewhere else in my room. Um, I love what it looks like and it's really nice, so I was wearing all my lips earlier in the video and then I've taken it off now. So I've also bought some lipsticks, this was a while ago I got these, there must be five but I've only got four because I've put them all somewhere, it's probably in a bag or something. Um, these are like these red lipsticks from Makeup Evolution Pro, I have another set of these in a darker shade as well that I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, so in this bag I have some more makeup, I have another colourful eyeshadow palette, this one is from Makeup Evolution. Um, I've been wanting to get this one in particular for a while. The other one that they have is a sparkly one, and that's the one that my sushi dog has, and I wanted the colourful matte one, not a colourful shimmer. So I finally got this one um, in the mattes, not in the shimmers, because I find shimmers don't flatter my eyes, unless it's like a real high intense glitter shimmer, um, which is what I get from this one, my other makeup evolution palette. I sound like a commercial makeup evolution. But I think this is a good compromise if you don't want to pay out 20 plus quid for a colour flash in a palette. Yes, there are less colours in here, but for £4, yes, £4, you really can't go wrong. And these shadows are really creamy, really buttery, and I really look forward to using them. I have to wipe my hands now, I didn't plan that one through. This is how those other lipsticks I was telling you about come from Makeup Evolution Pro. It's a little box of five different colours. I will say that the colours in the box do not accurately reflect the colours inside the box. Um, that was meant to be a deep reds palette, um, a, a deep reds collection, and then it ends up being like some really pinky orangey reds. So if you think you like the shade, just go a shade darker because it might not always be exactly what you think it is. Um, I'm just trying to get in here. Here we go. So this is how they come, and these shades I got dark purple red shades. I got the shades Matte Lipstick Pro in Noir, Matte Lipstick Pro in Darkness, the Midnight, Watching, and Twilight. Now, fun fact, I already own these lipsticks. Here we go. This is from the Freedom Pro range, and this one is Pro Lipstick Noir in Twilight. Um, and I think these are legit the exact same colour. Yep. They are legit the exact same colour, but I love these lipsticks so much, I had to get more. So even though I may not be opening them anytime soon, I'll probably keep them sealed up, I wanted to get some more just so I have backups when those lipsticks eventually die, because I have had them for a few years now, and truly they do need to go, they're probably expired. And um, so that they will already have them once wanted backups. And then you get a free gift for purchase, because it's Makeup Evolutions, I think fifth birthday. I actually got two of these because the other day I spent uh, £15 in there buying some other stuff. Um, I bought my foundation and my lipsticks and then I spent another £15 a day. So I gave one of these kits to my sister and this one's going to my friend Joanna mm -hmm. whose birthday was a while ago and I'm meeting her on Wednesday. By the time this video comes out it'll be way past that so she can watch all she likes. She knows what she already got. But Joanna your gift was free. I'm sorry that I'm a, I'm, I'm a cheapskate and I gave you a free gift purchase but I'm not going to use this. This is really neutral colours that she'll probably like more than I ever will. And last bit of makeup I have, well here, is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Color Foundation. I needed a new foundation and I mean it's been through what six hours of 
torture and stuff. This explanation's held up pretty good and I'm actually quite enjoying it. And it's only £9 as well. So I have some shoes. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently um, purchased some shoes on eBay, secondhand boots. Um, unfortunately one pair didn't fit and I'm really really sad about that. I'll show you guys them in a minute. But I got these, these are obviously new rocks and I have cleaned them up a little bit when I got them. You know, they polish and stuff and they've worn them out. These are vintage 90s new rocks, so they're pretty old. Um, and I fit them really really well and these only cost me £45, which is an absolute steal for something like this. Speaking of new rocks that fit me, I have these. These are another pair of vintage 90s new rocks. I forgot that in vintage sizes you're best off to size up. Um, so when I bought these as a size 6, they fit more like a size 5, they're really quite small. Um, they are really cool and I gave them a little bit of a clean up as well and I will be selling these on my Depop and my Etsy. Um, obviously like once they sell they'll be gone to whoever gets them first but to maximise the chances of selling them I've sold them on two different platforms. Um, I love them, they're gorgeous but I have to let them go. Um, I wish I could keep them, I really do. but. You win some, you lose some. Okay, another non-thrifted item. This is some just pla plain black fabric. It does have a slight stretch to it, but it's not insanely stretchy. It's like more like a one-way stretch, and I have a DIY I have planned for this. I hope this will be enough. This is like an end of the line thing, and they were selling it at a reduced price for seven pound, um, which is such a pretty good bargain for fabric that is this high quality and. It's really, really nice. So I'm hoping it's enough here to do what I want to. So next here, this is not a second-hand thrifted item. I know, shock horror. Um, but when I met my boyfriend, I dragged him shopping. Unfortunately, he loved, he doesn't like shopping, but I do. But I needed some stuff, so he came with me anyway. Um, and I wasn't intending to get these. I was intending to get like other stuff. But I went into New Look, and I found these cargo -y jeans. They're kind of like... We got loads of pockets and I always complain I don't have any pockets. So when I saw these on sale for the £13, I was like, I'm getting them. And they are really nice denim and I've lost so much weight. These are huge on me. They are huge on me. But the size 12 I tried on, I could not get over my butt. And these are size 14. So even though they're one size bigger, they're a whole lot big on my waist. That's because they're denim stretches, but I really couldn't get the 12 on at all. So I had to go 14, unfortunately, but I could take them in, so it's not all bad, I just couldn't fit into the 12, which is kind of annoying, but these things happen. Moving on to the first bag I have access to here, um, let's see what's in here, shall we? So I went to loads and loads and loads of thrift stores today, I think I went to over 12, I will actually have the amount I went to here, and the amount I spent in total here. Um, I don't think it was that much, I think it was actually pretty decent for everything I got here, so um, let's get into it, shall we? So one of the things I got, this is like really hard to show you guys, it's a sort of um, a cape thing. Um, this is like a scarf, so this bit here wraps around your neck and this is like a more a poncho-y thing. Um, I don't know if it's from originally, it doesn't have a tag to tell me where it came from originally but it is in a size, or large, I think it's pretty uni size. Um, but I really like it, I really like it, even though it's more of a winter item I think that I can still get away with it. And um, this kind of weather is not too warm, it's not too cold, it's like the perfect midpoint. Now to a more summery item. I really love these kind of meshy, fishnetty, sheer tops. And I have this one. It has this really interesting gothic pattern to it. And this is originally from Mandy. I don't know if that was. Um, it's basically a kind of crochet-y looking top, but it's not actually crocheted. And this was £2. Now so I picked up this really sheer scarf. Um, most because of its sheer size, I've seen a lot of outfits that have these kind of really big, flowy looking scarves. And I've been looking for one for quite a long time and I found it and this was only £1.50. So this is something that I bought, um, even though it's a lot bigger than my actual size, I think it's a size... It's a UK size 20, which is definitely way too big for me. But I bought it for the fabric, it is a velvet material. Um, and I plan to turn this into possibly a skirt, possibly a t-shirt, but I bought it for the fabric because this much velvet for 50p, you really can't do it that. So this skirt I initially got for my mum because she does have one just like this. I think it is one with the same brand, so we got it in the same charity shop, um, but in green, this one's in black. It's only cost me 50p. I got these several, several panels and layers and it is really, really pretty. 
Um, so if it fits me, I might keep it, but if it fits her person and fits me, she can have it, but it's only 50p, so I don't really mind giving it to her if it doesn't work for me. And that's the first bag done. On to the next. Um, I've had a lot of luck recently. I've had a lot of luck recently with um, fishnet tops at charity shops. Actually both at the same brand charity shop, but they were in different locations. So if we go in order of when I bought them, I originally got this mesh top on a day out with my boyfriend and it's currently inside out, one second. See, so yeah, I originally got this mesh top from a day out with my boyfriend. Um, it's a short sleeve mesh top but it doesn't have any stretch to it. Uh, but it's kind of really baggy boyfriend tee sized mesh top uh, for only £4 at a charity shop. And then, not the next day, but like the next day, sort of thing, like two days down the line, I picked up this one which is also in sale out because I've been wearing them. Let me just flip it around. So from a different location, but the same brand charity shop, and this is originally from New Look, and it is more of a tight-fitting fishnet top, um, and this was only £3. Um, I bought this jumper, oh hey, it's from Marks and Spencer's, and my friends will be like, that's my brand. Um, this was only £1.75, reduced from £3.75. I have a thing with the distressing jumpers, I have a red one, I have my black one, and now I have a purple one. I was thinking of possibly distressing, buying some and distressing some to sell to you guys or to other people. I don't know how I feel about that, I think it's a cool idea and I might do it, it just depends if I want to or not. This is only £1.75 and I'm going to distress this. Next up is a really vibrant colour that I don't normally go for, but I have since I've obviously got my colourful eyeshadow palettes. Really been loving green. This is not translating as green as it is in real life onto camera. This is like not a neon green, but like a slime green. You know like a slime green? This is what it looks like in person. On camera, I don't know what it's, it's, it's not showing the true colour, but this is a slime green. Um, it's a really big men's oversized top. It's from Walker's Electrical Clothing. Um, and this was only £2.45 from £4.95. And it is an extra large. But what I want to do this is a crop it and then paint some designs on it. I think it'd be hello hello cute. And now on to the last bag, I think. So in here, this is kind of what I bought really first off. Um, so we're kind of going backwards order. But I bought another turtleneck. I do have a collection of turtlenecks. And I will never ever stop buying turtlenecks. This was originally four pound. But it was on the sale rail for only one pound. So I don't know where this is from originally, but the tag seems to be quite vintage. So I think this might be a vintage piece. Uh, this is only a pound, and I already have one much like this, a very very similar material. But the other one's kind of dead. It's kind of bitty, and it wasn't really worth paying how much I paid for it at the time. And I want to do a DIY. I think it's a kill style top. Wants DIY that required a turn but I liked it too much. So I might be using either this to DIY or switching them out, however it goes, um, like that. So I have another t-shirt, this is also on the pound rail. Uh, it was originally £3 and it's from a brand called Religion. And honestly, well, the main reason I, main reason I bought this is because on the tag it says, Religion, we live in black. And I was like, yes I do. It's really interesting material, it's kind of ribbed and like distressed looking. And I think it's really cool, I can't wait to do a DIY on this, but it's really long. Like, this, this is a good borderline beard dress. This might even be a dress for one, I know, but I think it's really hella cute and I love it. You know what, we're actually finished from what I have here. So, this is a faux fur skirt. Take from that what you will. It is a, like, it's literally faux fur. This is a fur skirt. And I don't know where it's from originally. Um... I think it has a tag. But yeah, this is a faux fur. It's legit. Short hair faux fur. And this cost me £3 for my charity shop. And I'm really into mixing textures. So this was like a weird item for me to buy. So guys, that was it from me. And I hope you enjoyed. I know there was a lot of stuff in this haul. And I'm hoping it was cohesive as possible. I might make it a try on if I like have time to film a try on clip. Before it comes out. I might do. We never know. So stay safe, stay dark, have a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!